What makes you say that? Good neighbor was a good place to look for work, but a crappy place to hang your hat. Let's put it this way. Can't get much rest when you're sleeping with one eye open. Still, it was the best place for me to set up shop. Diamond City's goons would have run me out of town, and wandering the Commonwealth alone isn't the brightest plan when you're hard up for caps. Setting up shop? What do you mean? I needed somewhere to hang out so that people could find me when they required my services. The folks in Good Neighbor tended to not ask too many questions, which suited my needs. So, I made a deal with Hancock and started waiting for the caps to roll in. In times like these, caps make little sense. They might make little sense to you, but right now, I need every cap I can get. Are caps really that important to you? I don't have much of a choice. Uh, I don't usually go around sharing stuff like this, but you've been pretty straight with me, so I'm gonna be straight with you. It's those two asshole, <clears throat> Those two idiots you saw me talking to at the third rail. Winlock and Barnes. Now, they've been hounding me for months, and it's been driving off clients. No one wants to touch me once they learn I used to run with the gunners. And I figured if I could get enough caps together, maybe I could buy them out. How many caps do you need? I'm not sure. Honestly, that's not even what concerns me the most. I'm wondering how I'm going to pull it off. Winlock and Barnes have a small army of gunners with them at all times. They might decide to just keep the caps and put a bullet in my head for good measure. If I set up a place to meet them, I'm sure they'd roll in with everyone they've got. Unless... Maybe you and I could pay them a little visit and put an end to them before they realize what's going on. Before you get that look on your face, let me just say that I wouldn't even be asking if I didn't trust you. Is there any other way to handle this? If there was, I would have done it already. And to be honest, even if they took the money, there's no guarantee they wouldn't change their minds later. Then I'd be completely broke and on the run. If you need my help, I'm there. Wow. I don't know what to say. Truth is, I haven't been able to rely on anyone since I was a kid. Everyone I've met has either tried to rip me off or plant a knife in my back. But you, you're different. We see eye to eye on almost everything. And I have a funny feeling you actually care about what happens to me. That's why I asked for your help. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna make this easy on you. If you feel like helping me with this, head over to the Mass Pike Interchange and we'll take them down. If you don't, I'm not going to hold it against you. Either way, thanks for hearing me out. It's nice to know that you care. <laughs>